seconds away now from puck drop. The Blackhawks are going to start with the puck after taking the opening draw. That's just textbook positioning to break up the play. And he slides it quickly to top. Pushes it across to Taves. And he caught him when he wasn't looking. What a hit. Some players get into the game by physically engaging early. There's a fine line there, but that was executed perfectly. Quick feed to Darlene. Huge stop by Cropper. Wow, well, that wrister had some heat, James, but he was able to get in front of it and turn it aside. Scoops up the puck here. The Blackhawks played along the wing. Quick pass to Taves. Buffalo's got the puck in their own end. And he slides it quickly to Housley. Textbook poke check by Letty. The Blackhawks move it ahead. Rocked him. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. The Sabres are in transition. Sends it into the offensive zone. Oh, look out. What a collision into the boards. The Blackhawks have it now. Chicago's through center and now in the offensive end. Big time stop. A timely save is everything to your team. And this goaltender, he bails his team out. Tries to the crease. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Passes on over to Keith. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Scores! And hammers that home on the one team with authority. Uh, well, we all knew that was coming. How does he have that much time and space? I mean, he is teed up. He is locked and loaded for that delivery, and he makes no mistake, as he usually does. Well, he's known for his one-timer, and everyone on the ice should know that when he gets a look at it and he's set up, he's going to wire it home, and he does just that. The Blackhawks finally break the ice and get the game's first goal. Yeah, and it's an important one, James, because there's not much room out there and not much separating these two teams. So that... Yeah, you got a sense this was coming. That's a dangerous play, James, and you can't have any of that in the game, in particular when you're the one who's just received it. You got a player down, he's injured. You knew that was going to be answered for. There's the takedown, and I think that might be kind of a mercy rule there, right, Cheryl? It's a mercy rule as they're exhausted, and you can see them as they're panting, but what it does mean is that the officials can come in and just break it up. The gloves are back on, the buckets are strapped back in, and we still got a game to play here with an upcoming faceoff. And off the draw, they win the faceoff. Rucci has got it against the boards. Here's a chance in front. What a chance, but they can't connect. The Blackhawks gain possession along the wall. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Unable to reach that one. The Turka is not going to be able to get away from the booze and the chance every time he touches the puck, all because of that play earlier where he hurt their player. Here's a shot. Denies him again. Fires away. You can certainly tell that the goaltender is dialed in on that last sequence of saves, James. He's to position, so he finds a way to make multiple saves back-to-back. -back. Such an impressive save, James. I love to look at these ones again because it's not just being in great position. It's being desperate. It's finding a way to get to the puck, keeping your eye on it at all times, tracking it, out-battling and out-willing everyone around you. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Chicago's ahead, 1-0. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Oh, what a violent collision there. He just got railroaded in. Close face so fast and just taken down. Chicago's got the puck against the half wall. The Sabres can play it from the defensive zone. And it's a quick pass to Power. Skinner's got it along the wall. Chicago's got a hold of it along the wall. Here they come. The Sabres gain possession in their own end. Good check, frees the puck up. Post has got it in the offensive zone. They score! And it's back to back tallies. Yeah, and they've been chopping at the bit. Now they've got their opponent on their heel. They need a quick change here and find a way to continue the momentum. I really like the way they 
to move the puck around to wait for the right time to be able to move that puck for the one-timer in that low slot area. He didn't have much time to get it off, but he got some wood on it and buried it. Chicago's clearly had a few energy drinks prior to puck drop because they're already up by a pair here in the first. It's always great to see a team come out and play with desperation, not just at the end of the game. There's been urgency to their step and a lot of pace to their play. Oh, textbook puck check to turn that over. Moves around along the half wall. Poked away in the offensive zone by Quinn. The Sabres have it against the wall. And a cold check. Oh, smart play. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Crawford. Past the midway mark of the frame. Chicago's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. And that's knocked away by Cousins. Takes the pass. The Blackhawks play it along the boards. Slides the puck over. Makes the save. Hoshik's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. The centers glide into the dots. We're ready to get things back going again. Buffalo's going to start with the puck in their own end. The Sabres will play it in their own end. Craigs moves it ahead. The Blackhawks gain possession. Pushes it across to Hartman. Chicago's got the puck against the boards. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Jost. The Sabres have been playing great defensively. Their six are in the right position, but they need to make good on them. This game is awfully close. And now it's over to Rutu. And that's knocked away by Dahlin. And lowers the boom with a big time hit. Well, this is a message sending hit, isn't it? When you get all of your opponent and you're able to separate the body from puck, you know you've done your job. Message delivered. Quick shot. Big time stop there. Pass across to Oposo. Buffalo's got it along the wall. And he's knocked off the puck there. Tosses it to Hosa. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Oposo's across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. And that pass is redirected. Seabrook's moving the puck through his own zone. They gain the zone from the left side. Pass in front, and he denies that great opportunity there. Seabrook's been engaged in this matchup so far, guys. He used his zone ability tonight, and it's helped him produce. Buck is dropped, and we are back underway. Sends the pass over. The Sabres carry it along the wall. Picked up along the boards by Cousins. Let's it go! Stones him on the one-timer! Panarin's looking pretty banged up right there, James. I'm not sure if he's going to finish the shift. And he brings him out with that collision. Into the attacking end. Takes the dish. Oh, did he drop a thunderous hit there? Passes it to Olsson. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. And that's intercepted by Panarin. Long lead pass into the neutral zone. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. That'll do it for period number one. We'll drop the puck on the second period in just moments.
sheet of ice beckons and period number two set to get underway. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Picks off the pass. Receives the pass. Makes the save on the slapper. Takes the shot. Stuffs him again. Well, he has been under siege and I'm loving his compete level. I mean, he's making consecutive saves one after another. Look at this, they've got some bodies here on the attack. The puck picked up by Saad. He's got a step. And stopped on the play there. Well, on the breakaway, it's all about the first fake, and he does a great job there, but the goaltender does invite, and as a result, makes the save. The Blackhawks lead here in the second period, and they have been the more active team offensively. Chicago's got it in the offensive zone. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Tuck. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Skinner. Takes the feed at the point. Here's a chance. And that's blocked away. Here's a short pass to Richards. The Sabres get a hold of the puck along the boards. Slick feed. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Wins determination on the puck, even though he stumbled and has a lack of balance. Really shows right there, James, as he finds a way to get that pass through to the shooter. The Sabres move to the offensive zone. Great pressure with the stick. Taken along the wall by Kane. Handles the pass. Now he takes it over the line. Oh, he hammered him. Oh, he knew exactly what he was doing going into this along the boards, James. I love that it was a clean hit. He finishes it all perfectly. And that play is broken up. Make a change, make a change. Great defensive effort with the stick. Takes the bank pass feed. Takes the feed. Oh, he saved it. What a stop. Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and sending a clear message to his team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. Well, he knew where this puck was going. He's got a book on the shooter, James, and he gets square in front. Great position and makes the save. Here's a pass down low. From point blank range. Made the stop on that play. What a fantastic save from a high danger scoring area, James. And I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. They put the puck into the offensive end. Quick feed to Yoverson. Sends a pass over. And he rings the post. Chicago's been working hard and have put forth a strong effort throughout this entire game. And that's the reason they have the lead. They wanted to extend their cushion. But unfortunately, bad luck on their side. Or maybe it, it was good positioning by the goaltender. But nonetheless, it goes off the post and out. Nearing the midway mark of the period. 2-0 is the score. Chicago's taking possession in their own end. Denies him with the save. Jostling for the puck, but still maintains possession. Chicago's on the attack. Can't hang on to the puck after taking a knock. And he takes the feed. And that's snapped away in the defensive end by Letty. He carries the puck up along the wing. Sends it in deep. Angles it over to Hope. Poked away by Hagel. Takes the return feed. Quick pass to Housley. Right through center and into the offensive zone. The Blackhawks have it from their own end. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. are playing what might be their most impressive performance that I've seen all season, and we're only in period number two, Sheriff. Yeah, I mean, their offense has simply exploded, hasn't it, James? I mean, they have been a force to be reckoned with, and it's a ton of fun when you're padding your stats. 
Chicago's in transition. And he takes the pass. Grabbed along the board by Kane. Takes the feed. Pokes it away in his own end. Buffalo's got the puck along the wall. The Sabres are going to need a better effort if they want to find a way back into this game. They have to claw their way back one at a time, and it starts with being first on the puck, being aggressive, and trying to create some offensive opportunities. Tries to get it over to Kane. Moves it to Panarin. Oh, a clutch save! Well, we know he's got a great glove hand, and man, does he ever show it off right there with that stop. More than half the frame has been played here. The Blackhawks have taken control of this one, now leading by three. Puck scooped up by Johnson. Gaining momentum up along the side. A centering chance! Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Moves it in front! Great defensive heads-up play to pick it off. Tees him up! And that shot dies in traffic. Oh, he delivered a big-time hit there. It, James. I mean, you're getting blown out here. It's about time someone steps up and does something to turn the tide. Buffalo's got him along the wall. Fires it on net. Denied by the goaltender. Paterka is back on the ice after serving a five-minute major for fighting, and he had an opportunity to rest and relax in the box. And sometimes fighting can take a lot out of you. He steps on the ice and gets a great scoring chance. His time is better served on the ice. Puck set across the blue line. Great save to stay with it. Hasek's had a difficult time tonight, James. He's struggled in the net and the way he's handling the puck, but how about some help in front of him? I mean, his defense, the forwards, everyone, a collective unit that really hasn't been firing on all cylinders. Passes it over to Quinn. Fires it! Oh, and a blocker stopped by Crawford. And now it's grabbed by Taves. Saad's moving it ahead. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. The Sabres have it now. Poked away in the neutral zone. Second period nearly in the books here. Post has got it in the defensive end. Here's a chance. And that doesn't reach the net. He's it up from the point. are lined up and we are ready to pursue. Richards wins it. They'll go to work now on the attack. Puts it on net and he hangs on just as time runs out. And with that, two periods now in the books. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports and we got the third period coming at you in moments. Both teams seem fresh after that second intermission. We're ready to drop the puck on period number three. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line, and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? Buffalo's going to have to outwork the goaltender here, James. I really like their play in the offensive zone. They've driven the paint. They found ways to get the puck to net. They just haven't solved the riddle of the goaltender. They're going to have to get some net front presence and take away the eyes if they want to put it in. The Blackhawks win it. Here's a chance. Scores! And that's four in a row, and they are rolling tonight. Well, the whole bench is rolling. Why? Because they're all getting goals and apples at the stats tonight. You can feel the energy as they're all standing up. They've gotten four in a row. Chicago's been running away with this one since the beginning of the game, and no signs of slowing down in the third. It's been a productive night, and this is one of those games that gives everyone confidence, and this is important for your lineup as everyone gets it as they feel like they're contributing. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point-blank range. And this is a dialed 
London goaltender, very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low slot and makes the save. Moves the puck. And now he moves it quickly to Letty. Buffalo's got a hold of it against the wall. He got all of that one. Here's a shot. Tender. Gives him a choke with that hit. Takes a shot. Oh, this is the net. And that, what a chance there. Oh, it was a great chance and one that he will want back. The puck is all around him, though. If he continues to get to the right spots at the right time, you got to figure he's going to put one by the tendy. Picked up along the wall by Cousins. The Sabres move the puck in the defensive zone. Here they come up along the wing. From the point, they take control of it. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Can't keep a hold of it. Taken by Panarin. Oh, he rocked him! Buffalo's got it in their own zone. And he takes the feed. With possession along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Quinn. failed to convert on scoring opportunities and lots of them here in this third period. Middle stats won the draw and they'll look to set up. Denied by Trotter. When a goaltender reads the play quickly, James, and they anticipate, they get to position quicker. When they get to position quicker, they get square to the shooter. That's exactly what he does here as he turns the wrister aside. Directed over to the oh. Here's a chance. What a steal in his own end. Handles the puck. Takes the feed up ahead. Comes up with a monster save in front. When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. Puck grabbed by Oposo. And that's poked away by Keith. The Sabres gain control of the puck. Moves the puck to Hartman. The Sabres take possession in the defensive end. Clifton's lugging the puck. And a stick in the lane to flex that one away. The Sabres looking against the half wall. Can't get a hold of that pass. The Blackhawks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Gets the puck in deep. The Sabres scoop it up along the boards. Here's a short pass to Power. Power's going to play it against the half wall. Chicago's got the puck. Rucci stick handling in his own zone. Shot! Turned aside by the goaltender. Buffalo's moving it up the ice. Thunderous collision along the wall. Tosses it on to Richards. Chicago's got the puck along the wall. And that carries off a body in traffic. Slides the puck to Tuck. Quick feed to Darlene. Puck picked up by Thompson. Oh, what a save as he denies them again. Lee's out battling his opponent right now. He is so dialed in. He's tracking the puck, making save after save. It's about time his team starts working in front of him. The Sabres have played well tonight, creating all sorts of scoring chances, but they still trail here in the third. Richards quick on the draw. I don't think anybody was hanging onto the puck after that hit. Chicago's got it behind the net. Oh, and a big time hit on the play. Well, and it's another hit. I mean, how many times is this? Oh! And the Madhouse on Madison is rocking. You never want to see yourself on that screen in the video room on a goal, James. There's been a defensive error, and then you get caught covering up, and everyone gets caught out of position. As a result, it's in the back of your net. Chicago's offense continues to shine here in this third period. Well, this is going to be a dream for a coach. You know that they're telling their team in the intermission to make sure they stay to business, stay to task, stay focused. And that's exactly what they've done, and they just hammered their opponent. Came up with the save on that play. There's another stop. Into the offensive end now. Chicago's got a hold of the puck now. Letty's taking it from his own end. Levels him with the hit. Oh, big time hit along the wall. And this is why I'm glad I'm up here to 
Listen, Cheryl. Right and I'm right there with you, James. I wouldn't want to be along those boards either. It almost looked like he left his feet early, but nonetheless, it's a bone crusher. Host has got the puck. Quick pass to Cousins. Oh, he hammered him on the play. Oh, this is just a thunderous hit. Talk about physical engagement. He got all of them, James. <laughs> that was big time. Hosa's last play was impressive, James. I mean, he's falling. He's almost on one foot. Incredible balance. But more importantly, the awareness to know exactly where he was passing and distributing the puck. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. And not much on that one. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. In the final moments of this period, the Blackhawks have recently extended their lead, and it is a blowout. Richards has won the draw, and they'll go on the attack. Quick shot! Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. The centermen glide into position. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Poked away in the offensive end. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Turns him away! Scooped up along the wall by Oposo. Rips it! Oh, they do it again! The Blackhawks gain possession along the wall. Poked away by Keith. Chicago's got it in the offensive zone. Buffalo's got control of it now from their own end. Approaching the final minute of regulation. They clear the zone. On the attack along the boards. Turns that one away. Drills them. Scores! And they finally get one. Um, they break through. They finally get rewarded for their efforts here, James. I like the way they played. They didn't get frustrated. They stuck with it, and they wind up getting a goal. You gotta work hard in the offseason if you wanna have this kind of power, James, because he's getting jostled trying to get bumped off the puck. He's able to hold on to it with that low center of gravity and core strength. And then his eyes are on the prize, not the goaltender, but the player left wide open because everyone is so focused on him. He's gonna get an assist for his efforts. Here's a shot! Just wide to the net. Yalmerson's got the puck in his own zone. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. Gymnastics at its finest. Takes the pass. Oh, a spectacular save right there. Yeah. Unbelievable. I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last ditch attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. The Sabres continue to trail here late in this third period despite several scoring chances tonight. The Blackhawks win the draw. here tonight and look at face-offs here, Cheryl. I think a key reason why this team was able to win tonight. Well, and the coaches have talked to us about how their centers are so strong at the dot. We've seen them in practice work a ton of minutes in those areas. And it's so specialized. The key details that make a difference in the game. They start with the puck, they own it, and they're able to capitalize. Well, that'll do it for all of us here at EA Sports. I'm James Zabalski, and we will see you next time from ringside.